how to upload a video to YouTube. Hi, my name is Michael, and in today's video, we're gonna be looking at the process of uploading video content to a YouTube channel. So, let's go. So today we are looking at uploading a video to a YouTube channel and for some people this is probably a very basic and easy thing to do but for some people it can be a little bit frustrating when you don't know the interface of YouTube. So today we're going to dive into a video and have a little look at how you upload a video to YouTube from start to finish and hopefully by the end of this video you will have the understanding of how to upload a video to YouTube. Hello everyone and welcome to today's video on how to upload a YouTube video. So we start off with signing in to YouTube and in this top right hand corner uh, there are a selection of icons and the first one is where we select it says create a video and more. So we want to click on that and we want to go to the first option which is upload a video. So we click that and it will load and it will take us to this page and we can drag and drop from our desktop uh, or we can select a file. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select a file I'm going to go to desktop and as you can see here they are there. So we've got a video here and we've got a thumbnail to match that video. So what we're going to do, uh, and as you can see in this right hand side, you can actually see on the desktop that the videos are there as well. But we're now importing them by selecting a file. So how to make a YouTube video. So we're going to select that, press choose. And it will now select the video. And you just want to change some of the title here. So I'm going to have how to make a YouTube channel uh, and on this right hand side uh, it will show you a preview but it is just currently uploading and then here description we are going to put um, how to how is it how to make a YouTube channel and I'll tell you what, let's in today's video we look at creating a YouTube channel. So in the description we just want to put a little bit of information about what the video is. So this description here tells us exactly what the video is. Uh, above is going to be about and then here it says thumbnail now a thumbnail if you don't know what one is is a little preview of what the video is and we're going to upload ours now by clicking upload and as you can see this is the only one that's selected so we're going to click on that and as you can see it's now uploading the thumbnail on this right hand side so that when people see this on YouTube they will see how to make a YouTube channel, they'll see my face um, and it's a little bit more engaging than just if it had loaded just a preview clip or a section from the video that's uploaded. So it does make people, it draws them a little bit more towards the content. So you want to make sure you have a good thumbnail. Uh, I do cover that in another video so have a little look um, and they will be in the playlist, uh, the YouTube videos. Um, <clears throat> so playlist, we don't want to bother about that just yet because we haven't really, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a video on playlists. Uh, so I'm not going to cover that here right now, so we'll leave that as it is. Uh, audience, is this video made for kids? Um, no it's not, uh, there's no age restrictions either. Um, and more options means that you can do paid promotion and tags and subtitles, but we're not going to go down that road now. We are just basically uploading a video to YouTube. 
So what's going to happen is that's going to fully upload. It's got three minutes left and then we can press next. Uh, so we'll go next. Uh, video elements. So this section is saying use cards and end screen to show viewers related videos, websites and call to actions. So when the video loads, it will give you an option whether you want to add an end screen. Now, to basically understand what an end screen is, it means that you can add various other videos that are on your YouTube account. So if you want people to watch something else on your channel, uh, adding an end screen is something that overlays over the video that you've uploaded. And you can select in this section here which videos you would like uh, viewers to be able to go to next as an option. Um, so which is is quite good and if you're just starting out you probably don't have enough content to do that so i wouldn't really worry so much right now but it is something to think about once you start building your digital image and you have a catalog of backdated videos that you think well i'm uploading a video today about this uh, but i did a video that's quite relevant so you can you can kind of link them so you can get people to uh, go to more content which is just a great way of people getting to know you a little bit more and add cards uh, promote related content during your video so adding cards means that you can tag other people's accounts you can tag a website to a donation page uh, it's just so it's so if you're uh, trying to raise money and you've made a video about raising money um, then that's a great way to be able to tag a GoFundMe page or, or, or a campaign to um, you know another kind of fundraising website so it's, it's really good uh, from that respect as well but in today's video we're not going to be touching any of that so I'm just gonna press next so as we can see here, this is the final uh, section, it's the visibility section. And it's basically, you know, choose when to publish and who can see your video. So we have got this one selected here, save or publish, make your video public, unlisted or private. So we want to make it public because we want people to be able to see it. That'll be the whole point. And we want to set it as an instant premiere as well because why not you know you you want to sing and dance about it um just a quick understanding of what an unlisted video is so an unlisted video basically means that you can upload a video but it's not available on your youtube account it's unlisted it's a, like a like a, a hidden video but you can have a link to that video that's uploaded and you can share that with people so anybody that has that link can watch the video but not everybody in the whole world that visits your page will be able to see it you can change this at a later date you can just make it a public video at a later date or you can have it as unlisted where you just send people um, a private link and it takes them to the video um, and they're great for emails and websites because sometimes people don't want to direct people to a YouTube page um, so an unlisted video is good to hide the video, uh, but also to be able to still use it as well on the platform. Uh, and a private video basically means that only you and people that you choose to see the video. Um, so basically a private video, I've got a few private videos on my YouTube that I've kept on YouTube, but I don't necessarily use it at the, uh, at the moment. So. I keep them private because I never know if I'm going to get rid of them or or maybe you know one day I might I might uh, make them public again uh, but private is just a way of just kind of if you've changed your mind on a video that you've uploaded in the past then it's a good way to basically just um, put a hold on those videos and make them private and sometimes there are videos that you upload that you just want to keep somewhere uh, and, and but having a private uh, option uh, means that only you and people that you choose can see the videos, um, which is quite cool. Uh, we can schedule uh, a video as well. We want this to go out uh, live from the moment it's uploaded. So you can schedule it if you want to obviously set it for a certain date in, or time, or maybe you've got an event coming on a certain day and you want to release a video for a set time, you can schedule videos to go out when you want them to go out. But in today's video, we want them to go out um, pretty much the, the minute that they've uploaded. 
So there we are. That's how you upload a video to YouTube. And if we go to this top right hand corner and go to your channel, you will see on your main page, the video that we've just uploaded is right here. Now, as you can see here, it's 19 hours ago. Now this video was uploaded uh, yesterday uh, when I was doing um, yesterday's video. Um, but basically it literally just uploads, you press next, and it brings you back here. So it doesn't let you have duplicate videos, uh, hence why we uh, jumped to this next section. But there is your video, it's uploaded and it's on your channel and it's there for people to see. So when you click on it, it will automatically play. There's the video. And as you can see, automatically, I have already got people commenting uh, on my videos. We had two comments there and we've had 16 people view it in the last 20 hours. So not bad going. So there you go. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch today's video. I hope that this video has helped you understand how to upload a video to YouTube. If you want to find out any more, please feel free to drop me a message and I will make sure that I get back to you as soon as possible. If you'd like to see more videos, don't forget to hit subscribe because I do share a lot of videos about how you can use video for social media. So thank you for watching and I'll see you all very soon.